first example of what we're going to take a look at today is actually a 1976 15-foot uh, fiberglass tri-haul boat that we've used for demos and things around our offices. Um, when we purchased this, uh, because it was used, we got it online and we needed to know which size motor to put onto it. We did need to know long shaft to short shaft. So what we're in front of right now is our 30 horsepower fuel injected outboard. This is a long shaft. And the way that we could tell which one we would need to use is by measuring the distance from the transom to the keel. The way that we do that is we take out just a standard tape measure or a yardstick. You measure from the transom all the way down to the keel. Transom to the keel. So the keel is the lowest point on the bottom of your boat. So by taking our tape measure, running it up here, stretching it down, we could see that it stops at exactly 20 inches. So we knew that for this boat, we would need to use our long shaft model. If we took this measurement and when we dropped it down, it stopped around 15 inches, then we would have gone with the short shaft model. Once you've gone ahead and mounted your engine onto your transom, another way to kind of check to make sure we're in the right ballpark is that the cavitation plate, which is this fin looking piece that sits right above your propeller, it should be sitting right about the same height as your keel. So again, if you use a straight edge or again, even a tape measure and just rest it on there, as that extends, it should basically touch your keel right at the very bottom of your boat. We don't want it sitting down too far. We don't want it up much higher than that. It should be about a perfect fit. Okay, I've moved into a different part of our space where I want to show you an example of a mismatched boat and motor setup. Uh, here we have one of our small inflatables um, and connected to it we have one of our five horsepower four-stroke long shaft motors. Already uh, you may be able to see uh, just from this angle that it looks like the prop might be sitting a little bit low and it is. Um, so I'm going to go through the same steps I just did on our other boat. Remember, this is a long shaft motor, so this would be a 20 inch transom. Um, and again, our shorts are for a 15. The transom on our larger uh, Sea Sprite uh, was 20, inch, 20 inches when we measured it. And let's get down and measure again. We're going to go from the transom down to the keel. So from the place where the motor rests on its bracket down to the lowest part of the bottom of the boat. and it is 15 right on the nose. So 15 inches means short shaft. This is not a good pairing. Uh, this means that we need to switch motors on this boat before we get out. So now that you know how to pair the right shaft length motor with your boat, go on out and measure what you've got. See if you got it all paired up nicely. Thanks for checking this out. Uh, if you have any more questions about shaft length on your outboard motor, feel free to give us a call. Uh, check out our full line of motors at www.heideoutboardmotors.com. Visit us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, and uh, holler if you have any questions. Thanks.